managed to get the box out of Jason's hands. I managed to steal it from the river in which he threw it in. The moment I would open that box again, I would experience something much, much more terrible. I glanced at myself inside of myself at the thought of what would happen next. But I should not have done it. Because things just got worse. Well, I looked in the box the first time. Nothing freaked me out. What's going on here? What made Jason so crazy? I mean, it's not like it could be. Wait, this wasn't here earlier. Okay, I was not expecting that. So I looked over the papers, organized them, just in order, just to see what it said. I did not know how to make of it. But when I have a look, there was something eye catching, I guess. Dear friend, Mark, I have no thought I had not your but. Because if I'm honest, I'm just going to you right now to what the heck is going on. You've heard the legend that this girl from the day they found you alone. Many years ago, Imagineer Tony Baxter cooked up an idea that was near Frontierland. Not near where, well, you know, the barbecue place is now. Land would include the following attractions. Journey into Imagination, which was an early version of what was to be the Epcot attraction. It would also include a character voiced by Robin Williams himself. Full vision of this land came from an inventor in the, in the story of the land called Jason Chandler. It would be an attraction in which you ride a blimp around the world called On Top of the World. This would eventually evolve into the Discover Land's Videopolis. A ride based on Time Machine from H.G. Wales. You'll see some portion of that information on this one. And finally, Journey Through Time, in which you would travel through the past and see dinosaurs. Unfortunately, this one got canned because, well, let's be honest, we already had dinosaurs in the temple of nature. These ideas would go on to inspire a few western elements in, of course, frontier lands in Paris and Tokyo. I also learned that it would be based on a peaceful version of the West. It would be compared to the Paris of the West. Imagine they created a San Francisco, an international coastal city for explorers, adventurers, thinkers, artists, and scientists. Basically, the American equivalent of Paris, and what San Francisco would be like without all those trolleys. The waterfront here would be part of a weenie lighthouse, drawing traffic from Frontierland and Fantasyland, similar to Tomorrowland's rocket jets, or Sleeping Beauty's castle towers. Basically, it's a symbol of Discovery Land. It's a dude, blimp, and a submarine. Run by Captain Nemo himself. And speaking of Captain Nemo, there would also be a restaurant in honor of 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Now this is what I call your art. Oh, I also forgot to mention. If you are reading this, and if you're not Marty, yeah, I'm probably gonna go insane. Sorry, pal. In a wise, then there was the fireworks factory, which would be basically a shooting gallery, but with fireworks. That sounds an awful lot of fun. 
the land was planned for various reasons. It never got off the ground due to all the mansion. And also, it was because island on top of the world, which a lot of the movie was based off of, mostly the blimp, was, well, a bomb. And the reason, also because the plans made Asuka go insane. The project somehow got a will of its own. He invested his greed into good people's minds. Don't worry, we will deal with it. And so will I. I miss you, my friend. Oh yeah, one more thing. Be careful of what's in the box. And don't open it. Sincerely, Mr. Brown. like to feel power. Who are you? So I will uh, give it to you. <laughs> All they had to do was just throw away the idea. <laughs> <laughs> Attraction you wanted so long, just making you want more like greed. It would turn you into something else. It makes people afraid, and yet somehow feel strong. I don't understand what this is, but it feels good. The power. Who is speaking? Like vengeance, it came back and back again. How did that happen? Because of expensive stuff? Because of ice? Because you wanted to be from when you the idea of an alternate reality based on the work of Jordan would come back again and again. This project wanted to be in the room where it for the last time. Till finally, Paris came along. Also, because a lot of theme park attractions were now based on franchises, some people felt it was just behind the times. But, finally got the chance to build it in Paris. And when Discoveryland came along that year, in 1991, came a subtle reminder that everything you want doesn't always come its way. But something better would come along. For me, it may no longer be the case. Now that you understand, Project was cancelled because of power. I might as well kill you. Oh, I will kill you. Oh, 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 oh. This me. Don't do this. Oh, my God. What is it? You get out of my head. I did not know what I would use that day, or what he was, but something was crazy in the dark. I wasn't keen to find out what would happen next, so, for safekeeping, I decided to put the plans away, for good. I know that 
this will be the beginning of a new journey. Little did I know what would come next. I'm a little patty, and that was the mystery of Discovery Land. I will see you in the future. And don't forget to subscribe.